Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact. Shinlonly has caught a glimpse of the Bugs Gem excursion foraging process and has guessed what Talonly means to use them for. For safety reasons, she will dismantle the public inspection and analyze its inner workings first, and then decide whether to help Shinlonly to save the gravely ill Deniska. Today, we're gonna finish up doing the Shinlonly story quest. So, we're doing it like nearby the Statue of the Seven. Okay. Here we are. This is the place. This cliff is pretty high. What are we going to do here? Are we going to climb to the very top and then throw this inscription down the cliff? I'm sure she really knows what she's doing. I'm going to use Phlogiston to make an engraving circle on the cliff wall. That will allow me to investigate the internals of the central inscription. Huh. Now let me see if this thing can even turn on. I was still an apprentice the last time I used it. Before we attempt to engrave the inside pattern of an ancient name with phlogiston, we always use this to draw out the engraving diagram on a cliff or open ground. Only after we've confirmed that phlogiston can flow properly through the internal engravings, can we start formally working on the small internal engravings of the ancient name. If we want to dismantle the central inscription in a non-destructive manner, we'll have to use this thing. I really don't want to engrave such a large diagram with my bare hands. Oh, so you'll be able to see what it looks like on the inside without ruining Tlasoli's inscription? Uh, for the most part. If it were just an ordinary, unfinished ancient name piece, I'd just take it apart and pour phlogiston into the internal engravings to see everything. But since it's a central inscription, it would be better not to destroy the blessing that Auntie has prepared for Nechka. So, Shilonin... Central inscription fall under the twenty percent you understand about ancient names, or the other eighty percent you don't understand. There's an eighty percent chance that it's part of the twenty percent. Oh, don't worry. As I said, Auntie and I share an understanding of the most important principle, which is names are intrinsically valuable. Only by having names can things be sorted and categorized. They allow the world to become more orderly and identifiable. For example, when I order ore, I would usually say I need volcanic crystals of about 35% purity and no more than 3% of impurities. Without specific names, I would only be able to go to the ore merchant and say, I want this and this. No, this isn't it. That one. No, not that one either. Yeah, you see what I mean? Wow. Names are a crucial part of how we standardize our workflow. Without names, whew, the work would be impossible. So you're taking it about it from a technical perspective. Yes, because forging ancient names is first and foremost a technical job. There's no debating that. As for the question of why it's important, as long as it does not affect your ability to perform your work, you'll gradually understand it as you put the process into practice. Hmm, sounds like the most effective approach. After all, creating an ancient name is quite the complicated process. <sighs> well, let me break it down even further. We're not in the tribe right now anyway. Essentially, by forging ancient names, I'm assigning nicknames to the heroes in Outland's history. Giving someone a name is a subjective expression. You just need to express your hopes and wishes for them. But giving someone a nickname is a much more objective expression. To come up with a fitting and accurate nickname requires much thought and observation. If ancient names or nicknames aren't descriptive enough, no one will remember them anyway. So the best I can do is gather all the information I could and try to come up with the most fitting nicknames possible. Even a minor mistake in the process could cause people to misunderstand the nickname. For a name engraver such as myself, such mistakes would be considered a major blunder. Paima, nicknames are your specialties. Paimon isn't trying to come up with a nickname for Shilonin. Besides, all of Paimon's nicknames have been very descriptive. Everyone can remember them. Phew. <laughs> now I'm curious. Why don't you, uh, come up with one for me? Uh, are you serious? Of course. This is also my line of work, you know. Go ahead. Um, a nickname? Shilonin. Well, she uses phlogiston to forge weapons and make names for others. Don't stress, don't overstress, Paimon. Uh, um, Smith? That's it? <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. And quite fitting, too. I'll remember it. Uh, of course she forged, so it probably makes sense. But, uh, you should keep observing my work, Paimon. 
Maybe I'll come up with an even better nickname. Right, okay, time to make like a smith and start smithing. Watch closely. Okay, you got it, Shiloni. Oh, shoot, what? Which is the inclination by two degrees. Stop. Watch this. The error margin Watch this. Boom. is looking acceptable. A lion. Now. It stops. I'll extend Ooh. the description link a little more just to be safe. Why she post like that? Damn, looking. <laughs> look at the boop angle. Don't huh? look. I don't want to waste my fire on this. this. I'll leave some space here. And when the linked engravings are activated, the inscriptions here will overlap with each other. And touch this. Boy! There! That should complete the flow. I... Did I just fall down? I oh, that's mine. Amazing, Shiloni! You were running all over that cliff as if it was flat ground! Is that the part of the Chin of Echoes? Oh no, it doesn't have anything to do with my tribe. It's just the, uh, phlogiston adhesive I have on my shoes. But after all that running around, I'll have to infuse them with more phlogiston again. Huh. I should prepare a spare supply of phlogiston to bring with me next time. Don't tell me you're actually a couple head to tell the wool equipment. More or less, yeah. I usually have at least the key equipment on hand. I can show them to you when we next find the time, but let's get to work first. Hmm, let me see. Start with anchor 1 and activate it with density 3 phlogiston. Okay. Oh, what's going on now? Whoa! A super huge diagram just appeared! That's how they're made? central inscription is even floating! So, it's not as NPCs making those spray paint then. After some time, the blaster pills are seized and there's no expedition return to Shiloni's hands. So are you done checking the inscription, Shiloni? How does it look? I didn't find any anomalies in the flitchist engraving. All the adjustments are indeed based on ancient name engraving techniques. So that means... That means we can help Slasoli and Nechka now, right? Uh, well, probably, but I have good news and bad news. Oh, but I'm also just going to go ahead and share both, so it's not like you'll have a choice in the matter. Paima will cover her ears after the good news. Well, even if you cover your ears, the issue will still continue to exist. But, uh, you know, before we get to that, I want to ask the Traveler a question. What are your thoughts on absorbing memories? Hmm. Someone doesn't seem right. I knew you felt the same way, and that'll save me some initial explanation. I've never been very good at that anyway. It's, uh, hard to control the absorption of memories. Technically speaking, this type of inscription has the power to do far more than absorb memories related to a single person. By herself, Auntie can't handle that level and scope of work, but if she has accomplices, it is completely possible for her to use this inscription to accomplish far bigger things. Accomplices? You make it sound like she's committing a crime! Well, here's the good news. Yes, this Blaze Gem inscription would be the perfect tool to commit crimes, but we haven't found any accomplices or signs that she intends to put it to such uses. From a purely objective standpoint, we can consider that possibility as yet to be confirmed for now. The bad news is, there's still an underlying problem with this Blaze Gem inscription that cannot be ignored. I believe I've mentioned this before. Ancient names operate with the help of the Wyab, granting them the power to read information kept in the ley lines. In this process, the Wyab actually function like uh, relays, helping the ancient name bearer sense the information from within the ley lines. If you remove the Wyab from the process and don't use any tools, then finding a specific story is akin to trying to scoop up a specific grain of sand from a rushing river. So before you're even able to achieve the sand. Yeah, exactly. Anyone who attempts to do so will likely lose most of their cognitive function or become a babbling madman who talks to themselves all day long. Now, let's consider the memories that Auntie has gathered as the ley line and uh, Nechka as the only ancient name bearer of this ley line. There's no way Auntie would let Nechka plunge into the river of memories without any tools. 
she'd only be overwhelmed by the surge of memories. And considering that Nechka has forgotten all of her past, she'll be unable to work on her own to accurately find the correct past. Only Aunt Tlisoli can help her filter the correct memories of her past. So if my hypothesis is correct, Auntie is actually planning on turning herself into Nechka's Wyab to help her extract the corresponding memories in the different situations she may face. In an ideal world, this would be perfectly fine. As long as every extracted memory is correct, Nechka would essentially be getting her past back. And I also believe that there won't be any mistakes in everything that Auntie remembers about Nechka. But Auntie is not a Wyab. Her body won't be able to handle the load for long. So at any moment, she might just... What? She only made up a mind. Names are blessings for the future from people standing in the past. I've also made up my mind. Come on, let's go see Auntie. Right. Hey, Auntie. Ah, oh, Shilonin. It looks like you've made your decision. Am I right? Yes, uh, here's some research that I've done. You can reference it to modify the way the central inscription operates. I'll also help you continue working on the Blaze Gem inscriptions, but I must have complete control over all the inscriptions and the ability to oversee their uses. The memories that can be absorbed by the inscription will be limited solely to Nechka's past. We'll plan a set time frame together from which the memories can be drawn from shortly. If you attempt to extract any memories beyond this scope, then I'll consider that as committing a criminal act and halt all work related to the central inscription. After the memory bank is constructed, the blaze gem inscription's absorption functions must be stopped immediately. Only functionalities for outputting memories will be kept. I accept. Thank you, Shilonin. I really... <sighs> Auntie, you know I can't stand it when you do this. If you needed my help, you should have just said so. There's no need to beat around the bush like you did. Using technology for ancient names to forge other things without permission is no trivial matter. I... Yes, it's a major departure from the technology's intended use, but it's nothing compared to a child who needs help, compared to a name that's about to be lost. But once this is all over, you must come with me to see Pakal and discuss everything that happened. That's fine. I'm willing to accept any punishment for my little Nechka. All right, let's clear off the table and come up with a plan. I need some time to consider how to let Nechka control the Blaze Gem inscription on her own and extract the memories from her past. Hmm. Oh, um, by the way, did you give the book to Nechka? How could I just hand her a birthday present that you specially brought for her? I've picked out a box and packaged it up. Wait till her birthday and then bring it to her. It'll be a nice surprise. No, oh, it's just an old book. There's no need to... Again? Oh, my back! Oh! Is Nechka up again? But what was all that noise? It sounded like something broke! Oh no, did she fall? Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's go have a look! We're actually gonna see how it looks like this time. Nechka, don't hurt yourself. Shilonin, is that you? Uh, you're Nechka? How many times have I told you? Don't get out of bed on your own. You were running a fever yesterday. Hello, Nechka. Thank you for the book. I've already read it several times. You've already read it? But didn't Tlesoli package up the book that Shilonin brought? <sighs> no. She's all mixed up. The one she read isn't from Shilonin. It's one I bought for her before, a few days ago. She told me she wanted a book. I know nothing about these kinds of books, so I had no choice but to go to the tribe and look for a copy. I eventually found one and bought it for her. I put it in her room once I got back. Soon after, she suddenly developed a fever. I was so busy taking care of her that I forgot about the book and even forgot that she had asked you for a gift. Auntie, do you know which version of the book you bought? Which version? The shopkeeper said it was the one with the perfect ending to the story. Apparently, that's the only one you can find on the market now. Ugh. It's all my fault. You wasted your money, and now it won't even be a surprise. Oh, it's alright. It's just a book. As long as Nishka enjoys it, that's what matters. Oh, right. 
right, Nishka probably doesn't know us. We're... You're Paimon and Mr. Traveler. Mom told me about you. Oh! Huh? <laughs> seems like everyone knows who we are now. Hello, Nishka. Yeah, Nishka seems to be doing pretty well today. Since she said Mom. Since we for the last few days, why don't we take her out for a walk? What am I doing? Uh, let's check your temperature. I'll take her for a walk, but considering her condition, I don't think she. Oh, don't worry, Auntie. She'll be safe with the traveler and me. We won't leave the tribe, and if anything comes up, we'll be sure to find the doctor immediately. Besides, it's her birthday in a few days, and we need to go to the tribe to buy some things. Let's give her a proper celebration. What do you think, Auntie? I promise I'll be good, Mom. Didn't you say before that I need more fresh air? All right, all right. As you wish. I also happen to have a few repaired blaze gem inscriptions that I need to get back to the tribe. We can go together. Wait for a moment. I'll go get Nechka's water bottle and some towels. Ah, some medicine. Oh, and a parasol. So, as a nice room, grab the cookie pack. Packing. Talk about being prepared. We can cap out with all this stuff. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Okay, let's go. Please be good now, Nechka. Don't cause any trouble for Shilonin and the others. Oh, you can let me carry these. And don't be a stranger, Nechka. Feel free to tell us anything. And even I was quite a handful for Auntie when I was little. <laughs> yeah! It's not often you get to go out to play, so just have fun! Everything will be fine! If you don't stir some trouble when you're a little okay. bitch. Thanks, everyone. And please don't worry, Mom. I'll be good. I thought you'd say Auntie. Did she? Let's go look for Ignal. Did she suddenly? I've had her blaze gem inscription for a while now, and I'll finally return it to her today. Okay. Anyways, do her memories finally remember the fact she's actually her mom? Or she's being told that that's the mom? And we still need to be so needs to be so. Hey, I could now. It's been a while, but hey, we got your thing. Tosoli, what brings you to the tribe today? Oh. Nechka too! Well, she seems to be doing much better now. She's even out and about. I'm sure it won't be long before she'll be playing with Chanil and the others. I hope so. Here, Ignal. This is your inscription. I've finished repairing it. Oh, thank you for bringing it back for me. Oh, by the way, I came across a piece of good quality ore a while ago. I was thinking of using it to make some pretty jewelry for little Nechka. I remember that Nechka would become so happy every time she saw a shiny ring. Right, Nechka? I'm sure she'd love that. Thank you. My pleasure. Give me a moment. I'll bring the ore. So, oh, the ore is gone, apparently. Like, what the hell? Oh, I can make the jewelry for her. What, uh, what kind would you like, Nechka? I would like... Something shaped like an ember core flower would be nice. She was always asking me before to make her an ancient name with an embercore flower design. My god damn, Mom's gonna speak! Mm-hmm, noted. I'll make that as a gift for her next birthday. Sorry, Nechka. It won't be a surprise for you. That's okay. Thank you, Shalonin. Found it! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here, please take it. Don't take a few seconds. By the way, Nechka, feel free to write to me if you ever want to know more about ores. Well, I was shocked last time when you wrote me out of the blue asking for a volcanic crystal. Ugh, I'm sorry about that. She can hardly contain her curiosity now that she started to recover. She's still too weak to go out whenever she wants, so... She begs me every day to help her write letters to people in the tribe about all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know she's one of the children of Echoes. It's normal for us to be interested in Orc. Everything's looking up! Oh, we're just like the main character in the new version of To Kill the Brave when he was about to save his brother Remok. Uh, according to the story, we should be right around... Hmm, let Paimon see... Ah! To Kill prayed to the goddess of mountains and fire. Let my brother's name ever live on! I am willing to sacrifice my heart and blood in return! The goddess replied, I've heard your prayer, but your brother is no longer your kin. His name has sunken into the deepest of depths. Then, Tequil said, Turn my blood to fire so my heart may illuminate the depths. I will bring my brother back before my blood runs dry. Oh, you remembered that whole line, Nechka! Wait, what did the book say? Hi, 
Come on, you too, come on. You forgot, but didn't you read the, the goddamn Dean Paimon? Okay, let me sense. Hunting in the older version is more interesting. Even if it's hard for kids to, well, completely understand. Oh, wait. Nichka hasn't read the other ending. It's okay. Just wait a bit and my mom will read it out for you. What's she thinking? That's not true. Actually, I already know the other ending. You already know the other ending? But didn't you only read the edition your mom got for you? Hey, what are you all chatting about so happily? Uh-huh. Oh! Uh, oh gosh, this oh shit, my mom caught me! Mom, Mr. Traveler and I were just talking about the ending of that book. We were just talking about how the bad guy was defeated and everyone returned home safely. It's a really happy ending. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's not the other ending she was talking about. Aren't happy endings always nice? But if you already read the whole thing, then... What will mom have to read to you at bedtime? Guess you'll have to go to bed early tonight. But I'll buy you some more fairy tales next time, okay? Okay, mom. So, how's the oil? It's a uh, pretty good quality. I'll be able to give Nechka a beautiful and durable piece of jewelry for her next birthday. But, you know, for now, let's focus on celebrating her upcoming birthday. Where are we headed to next, auntie? Next, let's visit a Apaishpalan. He should be close by. Stay close, Nechka. Don't go too far. Yes, Mom. I find this very real. I don't think I'll really pay attention with the fact that oh, her memories were destroyed. Did I really just start back to normal? Oh, yes. Hey, something to the other side. Dee, 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 dee. Hey, Amil. Why do my eyebrows keep twitching today? <laughs> Strange. That means you're about to hit the jackpot of Hush Palan. <laughs> I didn't expect to have two name engravers coming in today. Welcome. What are you looking to buy, Tlazoli? I'll give you a discount like usual. Whoa! Offering a discount just like that? Tlazoli sure has connections. She was once our name engraver and did a lot for the tribe. It's only fair that I offer her a discount. Thank you for your generosity. I've finished repairing your Blasium inscription. Here. Have a look. Come on, Nechka. Say thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, so this is Nechka. Tlazoli has shown me some pictures before. It looks like you're doing much better now. How about this? Go ahead and pick anything you'd like from the store. Think of it as a gift from me. Mm, no, no, that's all right. Mom told me that you've already given a lot to our family. <laughs> oh, well, that was for your family. I've never given anything just for you. If you don't feel like it, you can also let your mom choose for you. Oh, no need to stand on ceremony, Auntie. Go ahead and pick something for Nechka. His drills and small clamps are good quality. The measurements of each part are exact, and they're always very durable. I always come here to buy things if I find myself in a pinch. Oh, do you have any child-friendly safety scissors? I remember seeing a few different styles. Hmm, I have a few in stock, but I put them in the back. Let me bring some out for you to pick. Oh, no need to bring them all the way here. Why don't we just go in the back and choose there? It should only take a moment. I don't know much about that kind of scissors. Why don't you just go yourself and... Well, there are too many different designs and varieties of kid scissors. If you don't come and help me choose, I won't be able to pick one that Nechka would like. Come on, Auntie. It'll only take a moment. And there goes Shalone and dragging Tlasoli off to buy more stuff! Oh, what a busy day! Be sure to stay close, Niska. I won't run off. Um, Paimon, who's your favorite character in To Kill the Brave? Paimon's favorite? To Kill, of course! He went through a lot to rescue his family. In the old version of the story, he was never able to reunite with his family, but he was still really strong and fought as best as he could! I admire his courage. What about you, Nechka? Which character do you like? Uh, I like Remok. Oh, the one who was possessed by Kwa'likwe. But never forgot his brother, Tequil. He was also an amazing character. If it wasn't for his determination, both he and his brother would have been defeated by Kwa'likwe in the final battle. Wow, you know all the goddamn details, Paimon. Of course! A story's only interesting if you can really get immersed in it. Hey, Nechka. Why don't we play pretend? You can be Rima, 
And Paimon will be tequila, okay? Just like you're just like reacting epic lines. So um is this okay? Mr. Traveler, can I play the role of Kuatli Quay? Like, isn't she the villain? In the old version, she even ate Reebok and took on his appearance! You tell yourself, that's the old version. Alright, she read the version with a happy ending. And that one, Kwa was defeated and the brothers both survived. Well, it doesn't matter. Only the lines at the end were different. You can go on ahead and say your favorite lines, Nechka. Paimon's read both versions, so she'll be able to play along. My favorite line is the one from the end. It's... Come here, Nechka. Look at you. You're sweating. Mom! God damn it, Mom! I was having fun with them! Let me wipe your forehead. Now, drink some water. This child. You forget everything as soon as you start playing. We've uh, picked something up for Nechka. A Paish Palan will deliver it to Auntie's house once he's packaged it up. H how was Nechka? Oh, we were just about to get to the exciting part! Uh, Shunla, did you leave us with Nechka on purpose? Uh, Really? Oh, now that Paimon thinks about it, Shilonen has dragged Lasoli away from us a couple of times now. But why? Niska has a strange look on her face. L let's talk later. Just trust me and act normal for now. Oh, we should uh, head to our last stop, Auntie. It's real hot today, and we shouldn't let Nechka be in the heat for too long. Right. Let's go see Chevin and head back home. Good idea. Just dump down, it's okay. Whee! And hit the llama! But the llama's alive, so that's fine. Okay. I finished repairing your blaze gem inscription, Chevin. I've also reinforced it, so it shouldn't fall apart so easily now. Thank you. Uh, how about the volcanic crystal? Was it usable? Yes. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I just want to see Nechka get better. Thank you, Miss Chevin. <sighs> it's fine. Honestly, you're both too polite for your own good. I was wondering where you got the ore for such a large-scale blaze gem inscription. So you must be one of Auntie's accomplices then. Oh, Shilonen. Um... We already know what's going on. We're all doing our best for Diska. <sighs> you had me worried there. I thought we'd been found out. We'd be in real trouble if the call ever got wind of it. To be honest, I won't be able to cover it up for much longer. I've been traveling away from home every few days, and the ore reserves have noticeably decreased. The last time the call came and asked me about it, I could only say that I'd been using up a lot of ore to research new styles of jewelry. As for why I had been leaving so often, I said that I'd found a new ore vein and wanted to extract some new gems from it. Ah, uh, sorry. I've been talking my head off. Please, come in and have a seat. Sure, we can sit for a moment, but... Miss Chevin? Can I go see some of the jewelry over there? You mean Amisha's work? Sure, go ahead. Remember to stay in the shade as much as you can. Uh, Paimon wants to go too! We'll go together! Paimon hasn't looked at Natlin's jewelry very closely yet. Uh, if the price is good, we could buy you a whole set. Really? Then Paimon's gonna take a good look at what they have! It's like, I'm so rich! Um, actually his wealth. You haven't bought any jewelry for a while, Auntie. Why don't you pick one out? <sighs> hmm. Let's keep talking with Niska. Come on, Nichka! We don't know anything about Natland's jewelry, so you can help us pick something out! Mr. Traveler, I... What? Come here, Nichka. Uh-huh. So good. Uh, okay, Mom! I'm sorry, Chavin and Shalonen, but it's already getting late. We should be heading back now. It'll be Nechka's birthday in a few days, and there's still a lot for us to do before then. No problem. I'll be sure to bring her some beautiful jewelry to celebrate. Mm hmm Mom, I... It's like, what is this, sweetie? You're getting hot again. Here, Mom will carry you. Let's get going. You forget to take care of yourself once you start playing. Let's go back and we'll have a talk. I... I didn't. Nechka, I never taught you to lie. S sorry, Mom. Uh, I. I. Uh... Nechka's looking at us. My mom feels like something's not right. What should we do? Uh, just wait, my mom. 
No, Nechka was having so much fun today that she forgot the time. It's not a big deal. Let me help carry her home. I'm worried you would also have to recover if you carried her the whole way. No, it's fine. I'll carry her. Let's go, Nechka. It's time to go home. Oh, man, Judas declines your help and leaves the tribe. Okay, Niska. I gave it all Bane! Damn it! Okay, we're home. Thank you, everyone, for spending so much time with us today. Please be sure to come to Nechka's birthday party. I hope she'll continue to feel better. Alright. It's nearly bedtime for Nechka, so let's part our ways here. Oh, Auntie, remember to give her the book, that, uh, copy of To Kill the Brave I brought. I, I went to a lot of trouble to find it. I understand. Really, do you think I'd let your efforts go to waste? It's very special to receive a book from you. I'm sure she'll put it somewhere safe. Right, Nechka? Y yeah Thanks, Shalonin. Oh, put it somewhere? Isn't she going to read it? Well... I've read the story to her many times already. She's even memorized nearly every line. <laughs> that won't be a problem, Auntie. Nechka's probably never heard this version of To Kill the Brave. Oh. What's different about this version? The majority is about the same, but the ending is different from the one that you bought her. The one I gave her is the unedited version that was originally published. It was released long before Nechka fell ill. Oh, but I remember you were never very interested in fairy tales, Shilonin. Huh. Well, I was just thinking that if what you said about Nechka's illness is true, she shouldn't be able to remember anything about her past before her illness. Mm -hmm. So the ending to the original version of To Kill the Brave is also part of the past that she should have forgotten. In other words, if she hasn't recently read the old version of the story, then she shouldn't possibly know the ending, right? I don't understand. Why are you so concerned about the ending of this book? Even if she does remember the ending, what does that prove? Maybe she snuck out somewhere when I wasn't watching and read the first edition of the story. Oh, okay, that is a possibility. After all, she does remember things that have happened recently. In which case, yeah, let's go ask around the tribe and see if anyone remembers Nechka reading the book. There are only a few shops in the tribe that sell books, or we can just ask Nechka where she'd read it. The booksellers all have inscriptions, so there's a chance that their memories... So, you admit that the inscriptions can affect the tribe's current memories? I was very clear that I would consider that a crime and would stop all work on it. There must be a few more books at home. I... I do not wish to see your blood be reduced to ash, but I have seen the light of your heart and spirit. I beg your pardon? Nechka, where did you read that book? Answer me! Go home, Nechka. Uh, I... I... Are you disobeying me? You're the one who wrote me the letter, Nechka. You're the one who wanted the book. Only you can speak for yourself. We're listening, Nechka. Right here, right now. Remember my name, brother. As long as you remember me, I will never have left. Silence. <gasps> That's the line from the old ending. Nechka remembers it. Something was behind it then. I know. I know everything. Shalonin, help me, please. Is that really her mom? Something's blocking the door. Get back. Shit. Oh, the way she did the door. People will block for that. Shalonin, wait for us. The tunnel is blocked. We can't go in. There might also be traps. Whoa. What are all those things on Nechka's walls? Hmm. It seems Auntie put all the extra inscriptions she made here. There's no one here. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. Come on, follow me. Whoa, look where this is going. Okay, let's go. Of course it'll be right here, that's strange. A motion that still is announced has been abandoned and sealed off now, and a bonus crackling echoes within. Get to be the most what gorgeous girl! Anyways, I get to be the gorgeous character in that land. Oh, let's go. I'll put out tail. Oh, wow, what is this? Auntie's workshop. It was supposedly closed after she stepped down from her position in the tribe. But it appears that we've all been deceived. I mean, you can't. We can't blame what happened. Lava pit. I'm not gonna touch Why that. Are there people up ahead? If you're up to shady business, 
Yep. Yeah, pick the ass! Yes, we saw it. Kuchina! Woohoo! Make that wet Milani! Not like that! Shut up, people! Nuke them! Double it! Quick position, Lenny! Blow your bow! Okay, this one goes bye bye. Oh, too bad. That was quick. Hold up, what's up with the shop? What is this what shop look like? Interesting. Wow. What about here? Could we Oh where I think we go inside here? What is the thing? My work my house saying, what the hell is all this stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. So enter Okay, I know, I know, you don't tell me that. Like I'm Kachina. Oh, I could be Shinlon. I could be Shinlon for that too. Um, on this way. Careful where you go. Uh, where do I? S I'll just do this. What? No, there you go. Oh my God! How much time do we have until we run out? We'll be okay. Just run the drill. Like play, 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 let it whip. No, no, go down, 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 get off. Kill like some uh, spikes. Oh no. Oh shit. Um. Oh, we'll be fine. Okay, good. None of it. Kachina's gonna burn. No, I'm not trying to burn. No, only switch is lonely. They get out of this. Climb up. Go on. Go ahead. Okay. Now enter. Nice. Even she could do it. Skate to the other side. If you can't climb, that's... Oh. Your heels catch on. Like, I got it. My heels could whip on to things. Okay. Now we're gonna head up with our world skates. Woohoo! Oh, come on. Really, come on. There you go. Skateboarding to the sky and bounce up enemies. Hey, who am I? Some holes. Okay, go ahead. Go, Beto. Don't say that. Nah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, lasers, don't touch that. Don't touch it. Did I jump in time? I hope I did. Oh, great. Uh, but chill on, eh? Uh, you bite this. Like, hold my hand, traveler. Okay, jump down. Get off, get off, get off. And then climb up. Touch some of this. And then we head this way. Yeah, she's in here. And we're heading up. Can I head up? Wait, how do we get up? Oh, that's where it was to go. Um, okay. We're gonna time this. Ooh, watch the lasers, watch the lasers. Take this. We got. Oh shit! I slipped. I slipped. I slipped. No, she slipped. Girl, get up! Okay, there you go. That's okay. Do we try to try to get up there? Okay. Now let's keep going forward while jogging. Jump down. Yep, my enemies. What is happening in here? Okay, we'll escape them. They all speak at the same time, that's kind of weird. Nope. Let's get this show on the road. Ow! Hey, stop spinning! Now disappear quick. 
Yeah, we're too strong. No, you're done. Kachina, Kachina, Kachina! Swing at them! Oh, look, there's more of them. Hey, come here, you fuckers! Yeah, come here. Wall escape dance. Okay, look at them. And double it! Is that for the key damage on them? Woo! No, no, Beno, Beno. Swing! I dare you! I dare you! What the hell are you saying? Okay, Lenny. Go ahead. Explode! Okay, your friend is dead. Taking out. You guys! Yes, you are. Uh huh. Thanks. Yeah, uh, deal. The transport system seems to still be functioning. Let's go look for the controls and get this cart running again. Maybe it can take us further inside. Yeah, maybe. Pull down and leave your legs. That opened. All right, let's keep going. Yeah! Not so close as to go up here. Let's push forward! And to inside! Whee! We flew in the other side. Now, um, uh, we're just gonna. I should jump and fly, never mind. This game is like, nope, don't jump and fly. Open the gate. Let me wait. Another space. I mean, it is faster, but I don't want to waste it. Okay, get off. <laughs> is she disabled? I think I should kill her. Oh, just wait. And then, is it transferred? Okay, good. It's transferred. Now, touch this. Nice. We got to over here. Uh, but we still. Okay, yeah, let's just move, let's move, let's move. Let's keep on going. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Is it really that deep? Wow. You got here quick. Impressive. Are you evil? I never lied to you. All this time, I've only been trying to save my daughter, even though she's not my daughter yet. But once everything is over, she will really become my Nechka. Not your daughter? What is she saying? Is she not Nechka? Just what I'm saying. Uh, infusing memories. So you figured it out. I want to use memories to awaken my Nechka. Oh shit! She stayed in the Night Kingdom for far too long. She's afraid of the dark and cold. I'm the one who made her stay there alone. So I must bring her back. Don't worry, Nechka. Mom hasn't forgotten anything. She has always remembered your name. So is Nechka already dead? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Oh, came and let go of the past. That's what's going on. Who's that girl lying up there? She's a child from my tribe. Her parents were killed in the same abyss attack. But wouldn't you know it, her birthday is the same as that of my Nechka. I raised her and took care of her for many years. I thought that taking her in would help me feel better. I was so happy the first time she was willing to call me mom. But then, I suddenly felt very, very scared. Is she really my child? My child's name is Nechka. It could only be Nechka. Damn, she's going real creepy on this one. Look at this. How could I be happy? M my little Nechka is still waiting for me. Okay. Okay. Waiting for me to get her home. She's being insane. As I said, I only want to bring Nechka back. Even if it costs me everything. And now, the time has come for me to pay. Oh my shit, look at that. As for my useless ancient name... 
It's finally time to put it to good use. If you're not willing to help me, then you can become the fuel for Nechka's ancient name. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Shilonen, you have yet to make a move. I take it you're examining the inscriptions around you. It's no use. I've already set up the blaze gem inscriptions, and the engraving diagram has already begun to run. It's all thanks to your ideas. Now, the central inscription will finally become Nechka's ancient name. After Nechka returns, I'll make sure to invite you to her birthday party. Let get behind me, Paimon. You're, you're not gonna go up there, are you? Of course I am. I'm the main character. We kill her harm an innocent child. <sighs> There's a flaw in this engraving diagram. The weak point is almost about to activate. So on my mark. Don't worry, Nechka. Don't worry. Mom is here. That's not your mom. Three. Mom will always be with you. I'll never forget you. Two. Wake up, Nechka. Now. Please. Wake up. One. Now we jump in. Still cussing. It's all right. It's all right. You'll see mommy soon. Nechka. Oh, roller skates. Look at her bounce. Nice! Here's a roller skates! Make the pedal of our high heels. Keep back! Those are distorted thoughts. In the mists are the thoughts' twisted cries. If you become tainted by them, they will control you, and you'll never be free again. Where are you? And what's next? A boss fight? Oh, it's Nechka with the glow. Telesoli, you're the one who twisted Nechka's name into a shackling prison. It's time for you to hear her true voice. Stone engraved and echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, in ashes be reborn. Her flames born anew. And the blazing dawn. Mommy will be with you. Nechka. Always. And forever. <gasps> Mommy. I've always been with you. And now you're finally listening to me. Will you be your bitch too? The old girds the new. As flowers shield the roots, so life ever cycles oh, until we oh. return to the land. Uh, uh, we've known each other a while, but we've never met. You, you're Nechka? Yes, but I still don't know your name. That's the real Nechka. The My who's that? Nabeka. Oh. The who's that she stole then? It really suits you. Nipeka, I bless you from the past and wish that every day of your future will be filled with peace and happiness. Well, okay, that's done. Go ahead with your heels. I saw Nechka and was speaking with her, but now, where, where did she go? Nechka, Nechka, where are you? Answer, mommy, please, please. Shilonen, you saw her too, didn't you? You saw my little Nechka. I felt her hands and hugged her. I was right, I was right. Those gray shadows were just a minor mistake. I just need to restart the ritual again. 
All right, I'll start it again and Nechka will... Have you still not come to your senses, Auntie? Hmm? What senses? I was not wrong. Nothing about what happened was wrong. She's just a little upset and was trying to ignore me. That child sure knows how to throw a tantrum. But, but I understand. I can accept that. Enough, Tlisoli! The person you summoned with the Blaze Gem inscription wasn't the real Nechka at all. You collected memories of Nechka from countless people. But you forgot one thing. Among what you gathered were not only real memories, but also countless emotions. Didn't you realize what kind of emotions people would feel upon seeing Nechka's condition? When people held a dying child's hand, when they felt her faint breath and saw the helplessness in her eyes, when they sensed her body growing colder and colder, what could they feel but abject pain and sorrow? I... I took those emotions. You absorbed those emotions into the Blaze Gem inscriptions and solidified them as a piece of her past. Those gray figures were projections of that past. They could only reproduce the appearance of Nechka in her sickly state. What the real Nechka wished to say was drowned out by those twisted and painful thoughts. I... I didn't want things to turn out like this. All I wanted was to remember Nechka to see her again. Nechka has always been with you, Auntie. Everything has long been recorded on your ancient name. The one you said was useless. You exhausted every option and sacrificed everything in the hopes of saving your daughter. That, that is undeniable. But have you forgotten the true meaning of your own ancient name? My ancient name is Undugu. The immovable love between you and Nechka has already been recorded in your ancient name, but you chose to ignore that. Names are blessings from the past to the future. You... you told me that, Auntie. You gave Nechka her name, her first blessing. But now, you've turned her name into a prison by taking an innocent child captive. And you've imprisoned yourself. Nechka is everything to me. Without her... I can't see any future for me. And as for blessings... <laughs> what blessings have I had since the day she passed? I see her in my dreams every day, grasping my hand, telling me she's in pain, asking me to hold her. But I can't say anything. I can't grasp her hand. All I can do is shout her name over and over again until I wake up. Every day, every single day, I've hated myself. And ancient names, too. Who knows? Maybe hate would have been the only thing left to her, too. You think Nechka would have come to hate you? <sighs> Auntie, do you still remember the last words Nechka ever said to you? Do you remember what her final words really were? I... I... The reason you haven't felt blessed is because you've forgotten the true past. Auntie, you've been wallowing in memories of your imagination and refuse to let go of them. A name without a past is nothing but a withered tree with no roots, rotting without a future. It's over, Auntie. It's all over now. I... slowly now, why don't you stay lying down? Oh, on second thought, this might not be the best place to rest. Shilon and... Nechka... Uh, Nepecha... can already stand now. So we made our way over. I can kill you. Thank you, Paimon and Mr. Traveler. I'm fine, really. The real Nechka helped me just now, so it doesn't hurt much anymore. That's good. If you became Nechka, then this story would really become the To Kill the Brave. This isn't the place to chat. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, but what about Tlasoli? Is that his Bokika? Oh, don't worry. She won't be able to cause any more trouble now. What is all over? You leave the bookshop, what's outside? Shall I ask you to go and come meet Nishka? Ah! Wait, did I sell any white? Uh, we're now outside. Alright, I've locked Auntie in the house with a few ropes. I'll take her to the tribe shortly to be punished for what she did. Oh. As for now, we can get away from the house and get some sun. Well, she's staying. After dealing with all of that, 
I'm completely out of energy. She's Relatable. Everything. She won't ensure doesn't waste time. Oh, it's still so scary to imagine. Tosoli wanted to turn her adopted child into Nechika, and she even nearly succeeded. Yes. Uh, a uh, good thing they found out in time. Yeah, she was so cool in the final moments. She went right into action and took control of the situation instantly. It's all thanks to Nampeka's resilience. She never gave up. If it weren't for her bravely trying to get help, then I wouldn't have noticed Auntie's plan so easily. You're so brave, not Piska. It was thanks to all of you encouraging me. After all, this was already the last idea I could think of. I tried to get the attention of many others who visited before, but they were all either quickly whisked away by Tlasoli or simply refused to believe me. Even if I told them everything, Tlasoli would just blame my illness to cover it up. All she had to do was start to cry, and then the guest would try to comfort her, but completely forget about me. She would inspect all the letters I sent and any gifts I received. And then, if I didn't comply, she would force me to drink some strange medicine. It would put me to sleep for a few days, and it would be hard for me to remember anything. I would see a lot of weird things while I slept, and the walls around me would start talking. I would be so scared every day. If I wasn't able to get your help this time, I might have just given up. That's all in the past now. You have us now, Napeka. If anyone dares to hurt you again, the Traveler and Shilonen will send them flying! Y yeah Sorry, I... I just can't help it. You are already super brave, and you even managed to call Shilonen for help. Oh, you definitely found the right person. Shilonen isn't the kind of person who gets distracted easily by crying. She pays attention when someone's talking and doesn't miss a beat. And it was because of your help that I was able to pick up on the details. Without you, it would have been extremely difficult for her to communicate that she needed help. Nice sit with me. Tlasoli would certainly be more on guard if I tried to speak with her, and would probably have just kept Nepeka locked up in her room again. So we had a part to play too! But where did Tlasoli even get the confidence to try this scheme? When Nechka was alive, surely many tribe members would have tried to help her. Was she not scared that someone would realize that Nepeka wasn't Nechka? She must have been using the Blaze Gem inscription from the very long time. That's certainly a possibility. The inscription she created would not only collect information related to Nechka's past, but also actively erase people's memories of Nechka. It's uh, similar to graffiti. If you want to paint something new on a wall that has been painted before, then first you must remove the old painting. It's possible that I was also one of her targets, which would explain why she was so willing to let me have the central inscription. Whoa! And you still took it? If it were Paimon, she would have thrown that thing away the first chance she had! Well, you can't uncover the truth without taking some risks, right? If I hadn't disassembled the inscription myself, I would have never realized her actual motives. So you suspected her from the very beginning? Oh, no, she's my auntie after all. How could I have seen her as a villain from the start? The most I did was keep the possibility and the corresponding plan in mind, and it was just our luck that the worst-case scenario actually happened. But now that I look back on it, we still managed to rescue a suffering child, even if that wasn't our original intention. Anyway, I think we've just about summarized everything and praised each other enough by now. <sighs> everything is finally over, and Apeka can finally be herself. So... What should I do now, Shalonin? You should do whatever you like, of course! No one's going to lock you up anymore. But she has no place to stay. But I... I don't know what I can do. Everything I know is about Nechka. What she'd like to eat, which flowers she enjoyed, how she acted and spoke. I'm not her, but... I can only be like her. I, I don't know, Shalonin. I just... Don't know. Oh, 
Don't worry, Nabeka. The blaze gem inscription isn't working anymore. No one will force you to be somebody else again. But I no longer remember anything about myself now besides my name. What if I never remember my life and lose all of my past? I'm scared, Chalonin. Yeah. <laughs> what should I do? Aw, pale head. Oh, don't cry, Nepeka. Here, take this. I took some ore from Tlesoy's collection and made this as a mold. A blaze gem inscription. You can make them too? Oh, of course not. It's just a pretty piece of stone. Take it. I've engraved your name, Nepeka, on the top. This, this is your first blessing. The one you received from a pair of people who loved you with all their hearts. It has always protected you and stood over you. For all of past, present, and future, it's never strayed far. But I don't even remember the names of my parents. I, I don't remember anything. Huh. Uh, I won't make any big promises and say everything will return to normal. I'm not sure what kind of future you will face. I can only promise that no matter what the future holds, your name will never fade. This is a blessing given to you by a name engraver. You'll continue to grow and mature as a sapling sprouts upward and becomes a healthy tree, or as birds spread their wings to fly high into the sky. Your name is your starting point, as well as your guide. Remember your name and everything you've experienced, and you'll know how to step into your future. I... I'll do my best. You can do it, Nepeka! We'll always be with you. Thank you all. Shalonen, Paimon, and Mr. Traveler. If you really can't come up with what to do, don't worry. Just relax and take it easy. We're from the same tribe after all. If nothing else works, I can always go to the elders and look up your history. And until then, you can stay at my workshop. I can handle another mouth to feed. Uh, so you do have a backup plan. Oh, I don't know if the plan will work. I'm not even sure who I should look for. Well, rather than placing our hopes on a plan that relies so heavily on luck, we should just focus on ourselves. Well, anyway, enough about all that for now. Let me take Tlesoli back to the tribe first. Oh, uh, come with me, Nepeka. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I nearly forgot that we haven't even had dinner yet. What would you like to eat? Uh-huh. Oh, anything. Well, I'm not picky. Oh, good. good. Just so, like me. We have a lot of work to do. We have a very busy future ahead of us. Nice. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Yes. Happy birthday, Nepeka. Happy birthday. Oh, that's a sweet ending. Is that really a birthday? I don't know about that. And that was really sweet. Before the episode ends, we're gonna go to the one more stop. Hey, Shaloni! And what about her friend? Oh, you're here. Everything's been taken care of now. I was just about to go have a rest. So what about Shaloni? Will she be punished? Well, the tribe is still discussing that. I mean, not many have ever used ancient names to commit a crime. <laughs> Pakal will have a lot on his plate. What I do know is that Tlisoli's workshop will be closed permanently, and any remaining incomplete blaze gem inscriptions will be completely destroyed. And as for the completed blaze gem inscriptions, I'll be handling them, which, whew, yeah, yet another hassle to deal with. <sighs> anyway, at least her ancient name is fine. Otherwise, we'd have a real mess on our hands. And speaking of ancient names, I actually have some good news. The memories that were absorbed by the Blaze Gem inscriptions can be restored to their owners. Now, once all the Blaze Gem inscriptions stop working, the memories will return to their respective owners. So everyone's memories of Neska. Yeah, that's right. 
Huh. Wait, now that I think about it, in her attempt to get Nishka to come back, Auntie made the entire tribe forget about her. Now, Nishka really is gone, but everyone is about to remember her. Oof, what a bizarre turn of events. How's Nipska doing? She's resting in my workshop. I contacted others from the tribe and told them about my plan to conduct an official investigation into her history. The tribe hasn't responded yet, so I'm planning to take her in for now and teach her some crafting skills. But that's for another time. For now, she should just rest and sleep. After all, she's got a busy future ahead of her. Yep. So is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh man, so no much lonely. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna hit there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you the side, Noah.